Good morning. Hope everybody is having a great beginning of their Friday. What a great day of weather or week of weather we've had. Um, definitely noticed some temperature changes and then also some uh, really good sun. Makes things greener, makes things people smile a little bit more and puts people in a better mood. At least I think so. I don't know. Anywho. Uh, Today, what we are going to do is we are going to take a look on how to create and use a shared Google Drive. Um, So what we usually see here uh, in the tech department, and a lot of questions I get from at my side of this desk, is that uh, we start seeing teachers starting to move uh, in terms of maybe they're going to leave for retirement. Um, Maybe you can go to a different school system where you're just... Uh, decided that um, you are no longer going to be here next year, but you have worked along people for a while and you have uh, shared a bunch of material. But what you've done is you have just made a document and shared with me. All right. Well, that's good when you're here, but as soon as you leave and, um, your account becomes disabled, all those documents and everything that you shared with other people, gone, all right? So what you can do is take a look at a shared Google Drive. I'm gonna show you today on how to create a shared Google Drive and how they are very useful because of the fact that all the material that you have, even if you leave, if it's in the shared Google Drive, it won't leave with you in terms of it won't be disabled, even if your account is. And so people around you or people that you've worked with will have access to those documents that they've been using that you've been owner to and you gave them editing rights to. But as soon as you leave, your email and your and your drive is uh, disabled and no longer will you be able to, they will no longer have the access to those documents. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, on how to create and, and uh, use a shared Google Drive. All right, so like I talked about in the beginning of the uh, video here, I wanted to show you how to set up a shared drive, shared folder, okay? There's a difference between just sharing a document and then a shared drive, okay? So one of the things you need to understand is that, say you're gonna, you guys are working together as a group and your teacher's uh, group, you might move. You you take a different job or whatever. If you have just shared the document with your group, once you have your account inactivated, you will not have that document anymore. So this is a way to um, make it a little bit easier. So then it just, you dump it into a shared drive, okay? And then everybody in your group has access. You can also, um, you can also edit the document and stuff like that in that drive. And then if you leave, that document doesn't go with you. Or when your account goes away, those things in the shared drive stays. So let's take a look on how to do this. So I'm going to go Hunter's Education, and here's my document right here. Okay, so here's a document I want to put in a shared drive that I use for my outdoor education class. And then if I would leave or if Brady would leave, that's who I teach with, or do something different, then one of us still has access to this uh, drive. So if I go over to the dots here, I'm going to say move. And I'm going to click right here on the shared drives. Not shared with me, shared drives. Okay? And here are all my shared drives that I have. Okay? And one of the things I did was a demo drive. That's why I put it in. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm just going to click move here. Okay? Look what it says here. Moving this item demo drive means all members will be able to have access to it. The nice thing about this is when we take a look at your shared drive, let's go back here. Let's 
go over here, take a look at our shared drives. So shared, uh, check that. Let's go back to my files and then click here to sh back up here. See where it says my driver, shared drives. Click on shared drives. Here's demo. You have the three dots. You get to add your members. You can manage those members. You can, obviously I don't have any members in there, but what you'll be able to do is who has any rights, who doesn't, who can just have views. So if you just put everybody in there that you want and give them any rights, they can go in and, and do that document. Uh, you can do that document um, editing in that drive too. Okay. And so obviously there's nothing in there right now because I didn't go ahead and put that in there. But if I go to files, if I go to my drive, go back to under Z, click on that again, go to my dots, and then I want to uh, move. Now, once you move it out, though, it will not uh, be in your drive. It will then be in the shared drive. So if I go over here to demo drive, click move here, and I moved it. So now has moved to your, I uh, have to go to my, drive, my demo drive to access it. So let's just go back here, go back here, share drives. And then go to demo. If there's my demo drive, click on that. And that document shows up. Okay. And then it also shows, you know, it's kind of basically like your drive, but then anything that you do up top, you'll see where the quick access is. So then we can click on here. And then what if I wanted to uh, move it back to my drive? And then it'd be Hunter's Education. Hunter Education Newsletter. And move it back here. And then it goes out of that shared drive back into your uh, drive if you wanted to do it that way. But it's just something I wanted to show you, um, especially as we're getting towards the end of the year. So, yes, thank you for watching. And uh, all right. So, obviously, you can see how those kind of work. Um, one of the things you need to understand that if you, somebody might say, well, I want the document in my drive and in the shared drive. Well, you can make a copy, move it over to the shared drive. But if you make changes to the original document in your my drive, it will not make changes to the um, document in the shared drive. So what I would just recommend to do is just do your, um, do your, uh, editing in your shared drive so there that is that is helpful and useful uh, there is one downsize it will not you cannot move an entire folder into the shared drive so you have to open your folder and put each in individual document into that shared drive but you know this will help those teachers that might be staying back um, might be losing a team member but the team member might be uh, no longer employed, but um, you still have their documents. So I know some of you uh, do this, just share documents, and all of a sudden, oh no, they're gone, and I can't get this this uh, you know opening day activity we do. If you put it in the shared drive, you'll be good. Also, you'll be able to manage the people that are in that drive also. Next question might be, so what if I would leave? Does that mean that my shared drive goes with me? That would be no. It stays. Um, and so then somebody else can take ownership for it. Because they're all going to be, you can make people editors in there. You can make people just viewers. So they can't do edit, any of the editing part, but they can view it. So, um, yeah. 
thought I'd share that with you. I know this is about the time of year we start getting a bunch of those questions on, hey, I'm leaving. I want to make sure they have this material. How do I get it to them? You know, some of you have been here. I know I got a couple that are retiring after 30 plus years. That's a lot of material. And you've been sharing it with your people for, you know, 10 years. And if you haven't put it in a shared drive, then it's going to go away with you. So this is a good seamless way of doing it. Um, looking at my calendar, you know, you've got a couple more weeks of school left, you know, spend some time putting some of those documents in that shared drive, make life a lot easier for uh, your colleagues uh, if you are planning on leaving. So if you have any questions, feel free to call, uh, holler, email, more than happy to help you. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all you do and have a great rest of your day.